I'm Mike Hanawald, field agronomist with VEX Hybrids, standing out here in a wheat field today. I've had several questions over the last week or so about as the weather warms up and the wheat greens up, um, what should we be thinking about um, doing some springtime management to this wheat, particularly nitrogen applications. So with some of the unusually warm weather that we've had this spring, uh, the wheat's greening up uh, a little bit ahead of schedule. And so uh, does that mean we need to move our, our nitrogen applications up? So a couple things to think about. First of all, we need to evaluate the, the stand that we have. And so the best way to do that is to count the number of tillers. And so we're looking for number of tillers per square foot. And so if we're in seven and a half inch rows like we're in today, you measure out 19.2 inches um, on a tape measure and that 19.2 um, inches of row is one square foot. Um, if you're in different row spacings, um, you can take a look at the numbers on your screen and you'll see um, what uh, distance length of row that that is. Now, what we're looking for is 70 to 100 tillers per square foot. Now this year, um, we've seem, seem to have very good stands of wheat uh, coming out of winter with the, the warmth that we had in November last fall, plus the fact that a lot of the wheat was planted fairly timely in October. Um, then that w warmth in November allowed for good fall growth. We got good tillering in the fall. And then the fairly mild winter that we had has contributed to this as, as well. And so um, in this particular field, we did a tiller count. We were at 152 tillers per square foot. So we're uh, sitting in really good shape uh, yeah, in this situation. I think most fields across Ohio are in that situation. So then the next thing becomes is uh, when do we, when's the right time to be putting uh, nitrogen on? And so uh, most of the time we, we look at either a two pass or a one pass program of nitrogen. Uh, the two pass program is most beneficial when you're trying to stimulate spring tillers. However, when we've got tiller numbers well above the ideal range, we really don't need to add any, any additional at that point. And so the, there's gonna be less need for an early pass of nitrogen this year. So a single pass program um, is gonna get the job done in most cases. When's the right time to do that? It can be tempting with some of these warm days that we've had to get out there and, and get that, that nitrogen applied. However, um, I would recommend waiting until we start to see some vertical upward growth. So that would be around the FEEX 5 growth stage. Um, and so that's when that wheat starts to, to straighten up and grow, grow upwards and get, get a little bit of height to it. We wanna be done with our nitrogen applications prior to the FEEC 6 growth stage, which is that first joint, when you can find that first joint in the stem just above the surface of the soil. Um, but we've got quite a ways before we need to be, be um, worried about that, that growth stage coming up. And so I think we've got some time and I would encourage you to be patient. Um, as we have springs in Ohio, it's not uncommon to get big heavy rains and that can wash um, some of the nitrogen off the field or can leach it down deeper into the soil and make it unusable. And uh, with the fact that prior to FEEC 6, wheat needs very little nitrogen uh, to get it started um, in the spring. And so um, if we get it done by that FEEC 6 growth stage, then it's all applied prior to the rapid growth phase, which starts shortly after that. And so um, keep an eye on your wheat, watch for that upward growth and make that application uh, timely. But it's not something that we need to be in a real big hurry for when the wheat is just starting to green up but hasn't yet begun to grow. As far as nitrogen rates, that's a question that I've been getting with uh, wheat prices being a little bit lower this year than what we experienced the last few years. What rate should we be applying? Uh, we have seven years of PFR data that um, has found that the ideal rate is around that um, 95 to 105 pounds um, range. And so you can see that on your screen and it varies based on your cost of nitrogen, um, but that's gonna get the job done in, in most situations. Um, and so um, think about that. We also recommend running a 10 to 1 ratio of nitrogen to sulfur, very similar to our recommendation on corn. So for every 10 pounds of nitrogen that you apply, apply one pound of sulfur, and that will um, keep that sulfur to help that nitrogen be utilized efficiently by that wheat and help to maintain its health early in the season. If you have any questions about these or any other ag agronomic topics, uh, feel free to reach out to myself or your local BEX representative, and we'd be happy to help. Thank you.